Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have an interesting watch on the uh, on the channel from Whoosh Do It Watches, uh, which is kind of an interesting name. Uh, maybe they need to work on the name a little bit. Anyway, it's kind of a, you know, RM style homage kind of watch. And um, there's actually a sale going on. I believe they're priced at around $4.69. Then there's an $80 Father's Day code on their website. I will drop that down in the description below. Um, but nonetheless, it's a very well-made watch, actually, and it's pretty fun to wear, actually, uh, for the price, considering something like this, you know, a Tuneau case-shaped uh, watch like this with an in-house movement and such, it would cost upwards of, you know, $200,000 or $100,000, um, but you can get something like this, you know, from an unknown brand uh, for a lot cheaper, and the quality is actually really good. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging and then we'll jump right into it guys. The shipping is actually really quick. It ships from the United States and it was it arrived in about three days which was very nice. I believe from Nevada. Um, it comes in this box. Inside the box you will get some stuff. You get a polishing cloth. You get a user manual and then inside the watch comes in this little pouch which is pretty cool. It opens up just like this and you can store the watch in there. It's a nice little gift um, you know, that comes with the watch. I thought that was pretty cool. Now this watch is dubbed the X series and it was actually just released by the brand. Uh, like I stated, $470, $80 off. You're looking at about $390 US dollars including shipping. It comes with a five year warranty they say which is pretty good if that's true. Um, the watch itself is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel all around. Quite a chunky one, <laughs> as you can see. Um, quite a thick watch. Uh, we'll get into the dimensions. So it's 42 millimeters across, uh, top to bottom. You're looking at 50 millimeters. You're looking at 16 millimeters thick. So it's definitely a thicker watch. It does have that lugless design as well, uh, which most of you guys are familiar with on these style of watches. The band's actually really nice. We get a genuine sapphire crystal, uh, which is always nice. Mineral on the exhibition case back. Now uh, we get five ATMs, you get a pull and push crown with that neat design on it, kind of uh, like a turbine or something of that nature, uh, which is pretty cool. The watch itself in terms of weight, looking at 135 grams, so it's really not that light, not that heavy. I think it's a perfect weight, doesn't feel that heavy on the wrist actually. Um, but yeah, the watch itself is an X style watch, as you can see there's an X going across the dial here. There are a few different variations and models of the Wish Do It watches, but this one is the X series Pirate. As you can see, it is a skeletonized dial, which is actually made of brass. There are loomed uh, hour markers as well. Um, loom isn't crazy, but it actually does work pretty good. Nice brushing on the top, which is actually pretty good. And if you take a look at these sides of the watch, you can see that little polishing over here on the sides of the watch. So that's the only really section that's kind of polished. If you take a look at the other side of the watch. It's the same polishing over here, then all brushed with these little um, markers kind of going across, everything brushed. Um, but definitely feels very well put together, I must say. The crown itself is actually pretty decently sized for the watch. I think it looks just fine for the watch. Very easy to rotate. In this watch, as you can see, the, the watch is actually running already. You get an automatic, some type of automatic Chinese movement. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the exact caliber, but they do state on the website this watch does have an 80 hour power reserve. It does have self winding. It does have hacking as well, which is very nice. So you can see I pull out that crown and that second hand has come to a halt. So everything functions really nice, and it beats at 4 hertz, which is 28,800 beats per hour, which is the same as an Eta 2824. Uh, so pretty nice. Now it comes with a fluoride rubber band, um, which is actually really nice. Two keepers, you get a custom signed buckle here, little vents here for air, when it's on the wrist. Very comfortable, I must say. <clears throat> Definitely comes broken in already. Very soft, supple, and very, uh, very nice when it conforms to your wrist. Flipping over to the case bag, we get a glimpse of the movement. I'm getting a little closer here. Movement's actually not that bad looking. As you can see, it's a little design there. Uh, it is an automatic mechanical movement, automatic movement. Just a fashion watch over there. I don't know why they did that. I think they should remove that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You get a nice little glimpse of the movement. I guess people like to see that. It doesn't look all that bad. Uh, but heading to the front of the watch, as you can see, the hands have little red tips on them. That really helps you read the time, as well as that red accent tipped sweeping seconds hand. And you have the white X going across there. It actually functions this movement. We get self winding, which is actually really smooth in the first position. One position only, we get hacking, and we can change the time here. So, very easy to function, uh, no issues whatsoever. And we do have those hour markers going around the chapter ring, so it is easy to set the time, and then you have the minute markings going over here as well. So, I see 115, push that back down, and you're all ready to go. Yeah, so pretty simple watch. Obviously, if you like this style of watch, um, you, know, you want something that looks a bit more expensive than it costs. You can see the balance wheel going off there, which is pretty nice. 
Tell you the truth, the finishing on the actual skeletonization is pretty good for this price point. If you get a closer in here, there are really no blemishes or anything like that. Uh, everything looks pretty spot on. So, you know, pretty good uh, for the price. Now, um, I'm going to throw it on my wrist. My wrist is not that big. It's 6.5 inches, about 6.75 when it swells in the summer, guys. Um, so it might be a little big on me. I'm not sure. Let's uh, see how it looks. And there she is on my 6.5, 6.75 inch wrist. I must say, it really doesn't fit as big as I thought it would. It really has a big presence, though, because it's very thick at 16 millimeters. But that's the whole point of these watches. They're kind of very showy, kind of show off a little bit. You know, you want to be seen with it, I guess. Um, not 100% sure it would be my style. Uh, maybe if it was like 5, 12 millimeters, uh, more of my style. But I'm not sure they make these kind of watches that thin. Anyway, nonetheless, the band is very comfortable, as you can see. And it feels very strong at the end. As you can see, it's much thicker at the end when it connects here. Now, obviously, you're going to have to use this band for this watch, but there's no issue because the band supplied is of very good quality. It's genuine rubber, very flexible, tough, durable. It doesn't attract lint or anything like that. Now, I just want to light up the dial with some loom. Uh, we'll see how good the loom is. Um, and I know there is loom on these little markers here for the hours, so it's always good to have a little loom. And as you can see, the loom glows green on the markers and on the tips of the uh, minute and the, the minute hand and the hour hand, as you can see there. Uh, it's really not that bad. Obviously, there's not much loom applied, but it's definitely very legible. Anyway, guys, I think for the price, you know, you know you're paying for, you know, about $390. It's really not that bad. You're getting an automatic movement, hacking, hand winding. It's actually really well built. So, uh, what do I think of this watch? I think it's a pretty good, you know, kind of homage style watch if you're into that style. The quality is very good. It feels of, you know, it feels of a good quality watch, and um, I can definitely stand by that. Um, obviously, if you don't like this style and size, you're not going to like something like this. But if you're looking for something, you know, a bit showy, a bit larger for the summer season, definitely an option, you know, if you want to throw something funky into your collection. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews, coming at you with the Wish Do It Pirate X series. I will drop a link to their website down in the description below if you want to check them out. There's also some different variations that are a bit easier to read as well, a bit different without the skeletonized dial. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know what you think. Throw the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk real soon. Bye.